A very good morning to all of you. Jai Hind and welcome to the daily current affairs and MCQ series. So let's get started with some of the few interesting articles that we are discussing today. Good morning, all. Good morning. So the Supreme Court has, you know, the a petition has been filed in the Supreme Court regarding the Indian Environment Service, and the Supreme Court has sought the response from the Union Government. The Government of India has been asked that what exactly they are their plans regarding the setup of this new independent All India Service by the name of Indian Environment Service. Right. So from an exam perspective, what becomes important is the All India Services. which we are going to take a look into then environment and ecology aspect because of which this new all india service is being sought to be created and the writ jurisdiction of the supreme court this also i am going to touch upon so the issue at hand is that the supreme court is you know it is disposed of a matter it is it has taken up a matter that that is a writ petition under the writ jurisdiction of mandamus that is what you know the petitioners have asked the supreme court to issue directions to the union government to create a new all india service exclusively to cater to the issues relating to environment and ecology what the petition says is that the generalist services which generally the you know the civil services are these generalists are not capable enough or they lack somewhat expertise as far as the management of environment and ecological aspects are concerned so what the petition has asked that that it was also in the year 2014 that the tsr subramaniam committee had given a recommendation right the former cabinet secretary of india tsr subramaniam under whose chairmanship that committee was formed in 2014 that had also given a recommendation to the union government that please consider the creation of a new all india service in the name of indian environment service for the environment and ecology related matters right but that was not acted upon and now that again has come to the light now what the argument has been made in front of the supreme court is that that same relying upon that report of 2014 the petitioners have said that since the challenges on the climate front which certainly relate to what relate to the environmental aspects and these are the challenges which the existing bureaucracy is unable to handle right ऐसा नहीं है कि बिल्कुल ही हैंडल नहीं कर पा रहे हैं बट वट दी पिटिशन आर यूज इज दैट कि बाय एंड लार्ज आपको एक एक्सपर्टीज जो है वो रिक्वायर्ड है बिकॉज ऑफ विच यू आर एबल टू एक्सक्लूसिवली प्रोवाइड फॉर दी सोल्यूशन टू दो चैलेंजेस ऑन दी एनवायरमेंट और इकोलॉजी फ्रंट राइट एंड दैट इज बाय द नीड इज देयर then the same was recommended as by well, told you by the tsr subramaniam committee right and this is now the petition for the creation of an independent indian environment service at the all india level right so that is basically what is the issue at hand now let's take a look at the question and through that we are going to discuss some of the other things as well yes so which of the following statements is or are not correct with respect to all india services first the lok sabha being the directly elected house has overriding power over the rajya sabha for the establishment of an all india service second the gadgil committee had recommended the creation of an all of a, of a new all india service pertaining to the aspects of environment and ecology and third there are three such services currently there are three such services including the indian forest service yes so what do you think should be the answer here bhavya is saying screen is not clear bhavya i would suggest please check your video quality settings in your browser because i believe the rest for the rest of the people the screen is clear okay so we have some answers here we have b as the answers by the people right so look certainly when you talk about the creation of an all india service now this is what this is a unitary feature an all india service in a federal structure is a unitary feature that is the recruitment for the all india services are done by the central government but these all india services they go and they give their services to the state governments so what exactly is happening one service or the officials from one service who are serving in the state government their ultimate cadre controlling authority is the central government so that is a unitary feature and at the level of the union which house is there to protect the interest of the states that is the rajya sabha right so it is not the lok sabha but rather it is the rajya sabha that has been given overriding powers when it comes to the creation of a new all india service so the first statement is obviously that is incorrect k 
अगर न्यू ऑल इंडिया सर्विस या ऑल इंडिया सर्विस के क्रिएशन की बात होगी तो ओवर राइडिंग पावर्स किसके पास हैं राज्यसभा के पास इफ राज्यसभा पास इज रेजोल्यूशन ओनली देन द पार्लियामेंट कैन क्रिएट अ न्यू ऑल इंडिया सर्विस राइट अदरवाइज द पार्लियामेंट कैन नॉट क्रिएट अ न्यू ऑल इंडिया सर्विस विदाउट ऑथोराइजेशन फ्रॉम दी राज्यसभा इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दैट रेजोल्यूशन so first is incorrect then second that the gadgil committee that is also incorrect although the gadgil committee reports and recommendations they pertain to they pertain to environment and ecology right but they had not recommended any such all india service in the form of indian environment service theek hai to first and second are incorrect third is absolutely fine that right now you have the administrative service you have the police service and you have the forest service as part of the three all india services right so for question number 1 your answer will be first and second are incorrect so answer will be c right ha ji good morning vivek chaliye great great so answer will be c for question number 1 right theek hai so that is how you manage your all india services now apart from that there is one more thing which i want to discuss here is that देखो ये ऑल इंडिया सर्विस के रिगार्डिंग तो ठीक है बात सारी हो गई इसके अलावा जो इस वक्त डिबेट एक और चल रही है दैट कंसर्न दैट यू नो देर आर सर्टन जूरिस्डिक्शन विद द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैव सो अंडर दी जूरिस्डिक्शन विच द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज देर इज वन काइंड ऑफ जूरिस्डिक्शन दैट यू स्टडी बाय द नेम ऑफ रिट जूरिस्डिक्शन राइट सो अंडर द रिट जूरिस्डिक्शन देर इज वन कैटेगरी ऑफ रिट जूरिस्डिक्शन दैट इज द mandamus so this is also the debate right now which is going on that whether the supreme court has the power to issue directions to the government under its man, under its writ jurisdiction pertaining to the writ of mandamus that whether the supreme court can issue directions to the government for the creation of a new all india service this is question this is questionable here that whether that direction can be issued for the creation of a new all india service under the mandamus under the writ of mandamus right so that is going to be interesting how the supreme court you know takes a view on that particular thing ki kis tarike se supreme court jo hai isko view leke and whether it invokes the writ jurisdiction and it passes an order or it merely just you know cites the report of TSR Subramaniam committee and merely gives a recommendation to the government asking them to consider for the creation of a new all india service right so that is going to be interesting and that we are going to certainly keep a look at jaise hi jab bhi jo hai judgment aati hai right chaliye so moving to the next article that is ministry of earth sciences and indian navy will soon sign a mou for knowledge sharing in the areas of design and development for underwater vehicle और इसके साथ साथ यू हैव द डीप ओशन मिशन आल्सो यू हैव समुद्र समुद्रयान मिशन एंड यू हैव मत्स्य सिक्स थाउजेंड राइट जो हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं हाँ जी गुड मॉर्निंग गजानन तो डीप ओशन मिशन जो है दैट इज डिजाइन टू एक्सप्लोर इंडिया डीप ओशन राइट फॉर द रिसोर्सेज एंड टू डेवलप डीप सी टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट इज वट द बेसिस ऑफ दिस मिशन इज राइट एंड ऑल्सो टू प्रमोट सस्टेनेबल यूज ऑफ ओशन रिसोर्सेज सो विच यूनाइटेड नेशन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल कौन सा यू एन एस डी जी है विच केटर्स फॉर दी लाइफ अंडर वॉटर यस प्लीज टाइप इन दॉमेंट सेक्शन कौन सा कौन सा जो है यूनाइटेड नेशन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल विच इज द नंबर ऑफ दैट यू एन एस डी जी विच केटर्स टू दी लाइफ अंडर ओशन और लाइफ अंडर वॉटर टाइप दैट इन दॉमेंट सेक्शन ठीक है नाउ इंडियन नेवी की जब बात करें इट इज अंबर ऑफ द डीप ओशन काउंसिल विच इज इन्वॉल्व हेयर एंड Indian Navy is also going to be involved in launching the recovery of manned submersible deep water and apart from that it is going to be de developed under this deep ocean mission itself right jiske liye MOU ki yahan pe baat kar rahe hain okay let's see baki log type karte hain ki nahi UNSDG number further talking about the deep ocean mission to iski implementing ministry jo hai that is the ministry of earth sciences right so please be very clear it is not the ministry of एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज एमओ एफ डबल सी नहीं है इट इज दर्थ साइंस मिनिस्ट्री दैट इज इंप्लीमेंटिंग द मिशन राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट अभी तक जो है जो एम्फोसिस दी गई है दैट एम्फोसिस ऑन सर्टन थिंग्स दैट इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डी सी डी सी टेक्नोलॉजी एंड सर्टनली द मैन सबर्सिबल रेटेड फॉर सिक्स थाउजेंड मीटर वॉटर डेप्थ 
along with technology for deep sea mining apart from that you also have the exploration of deep sea mineral resources look it is certainly going to be beneficial for the country and that if you do with the respect to you know a sustainable element in your mind a sustainable development for these species also then it is going to be a win win situation ke na aap marine life ko jo hai destroy karo but certainly at the same time jo bhi aapne exploration karni hai jo bhi aapne resources ko mine karna hai that also is being done Yes, exactly. You and Clause, United Nations Convention on the Convention on the Law of Sea. Yeah, that is fine. But I was asking the UN SDG number for life under water, right? So that is the basis basics of the deep ocean mission. Let's move to the question now. Hanji, which of the following statements is or are incorrect regarding Mission Samudrayaan? First, Mission Samudrayaan was launched in 2021. Second, it is India's first manned ocean mission. third it will facilitate the deep ocean exploration of polymetallic manganese nodules and gas hydrates located beneath 1000 meter yes okay so you are saying sdg 14 great great absolutely fine theek hai right certainly so yahan pe sari statements jo hai regarding mission samudrayaan they are correct absolutely your answer is fine that is it was launched in the month of june 2021 right and it is india's first manned ocean mission unmanned ocean mission jisse pehle undertake kiye hain but this is the first manned ocean mission and it will allow you to go from 1000 to 5500 meters down right or below the sea level so all the statements are correct hence your answer will be none that is none is incorrect yes actually you are all right chaliye so moving to the next article now this is something concerning you know the blocks yes So this is this is something something concerning the coal block allocation and for that a new portal that is the Koila Darpan portal has been launched right regarding this portal what this portal is actually going to do is that this portal will provide all the agencies in India which are you know which are operating in the domain of coal block allocation in coal mining and operating with respect to all the resources pertaining to coal they are going to have one integrated portal where all the they can share all the key performance indicators they can also you can uh, they can share the information they can get the information and there are certain key performance indicators the kpis right now which have been introduced through the darpan portal right or the koila darpan portal to be precise right so that is regarding this particular news article let's take this question and through that we are going to take a look at what exactly is the list of those kpis or key performance indicators right So, which of the following are the key performance indicate indicators for the Koila Darpan portal? First, allocation of blocks. Second, exploration data. Third, monitoring major coal mines. And fourth, coal or lignite production. So, what should be the answer here? Yeah, certainly it is going to support the Blue Economy Initiative, Zahana, precisely. चलिए ग्रेट सो ऑल ऑफ दीज यू से आर अ पार्ट ऑफ द ओके ग्रेट यस एग्जैक्टली सो लुक आंसर देखने से पहले एक बार देख लेते हैं व्हाट एग्जैक्टली देर आर नाइन के इनिशियली दैट हैव बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड थ्रू दी कोयला दर्पण पोर्टल राइट एंड इफ यू टेक अ लुक एट द लिस्ट देन इट इज कोल एंड लिग्नाइट प्रोडक्शन कोल लिग्नाइट ऑफ टेक एक्सप्लोरेशन डेटा सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम्स जो भी कोल से रिलेटेड है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द स्टेटस ऑफ कोल स्टॉक इन दी थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स 
infrastructure product projects allocation of the blocks right this was a huge issue during the coal gate scam then monitoring of major coal mines and coal price so all of these is going to be integrated through the koila darpan portal right so please remember the kpis iske upar potentially question ek ban sakta hai upsc ne upsc mein right because coal certainly is something that remains off on and off in news right so answer will be all the four are included here answer will be absolutely d राइट एग्जैक्टली चलिए सो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल दैट इज रीलोकेटिंग द अमर जवान ज्योति टू द नेशनल वॉर मेमोरियल मेमोरियल दो वी हैव डिस्कस दिस राइट बट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी इन न्यूज फॉर सम टाइम बिकॉज नाउ यू यस्टरडे हैड दी प्राइम मिनिस्टर इनोग्रेटिंग दी इनोग्रेटिंग दी स्टैचू ऑफ और लो अ वर्चुअल स्टैचू ऑफ मोनोग्राम स्टैचू ऑफ होलोग्राम स्टैचू ऑफ सुभाष चंद्र बोस बट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी बिल्ट देयर राइट सो आई फाउंड इट इंटरेस्टिंग दैट लेट्स take this question now regarding what are the famous war memorials across the world right because every country certainly does have their own war memorial so match the following war memorials with their locations first arlington cenotaph arc de triumph and liberation memorial so the locations are london dhaka washington and paris yes Yes, exactly. Subhash Chandra Bose or Neta Ji Subhash Chandra Bose, as we as we call him. Yes, please try and answer this question here. Okay, Ahana says D. Rohit says D. Great. It means that you must have you have gone through that article carefully. and you have not just gone through that article carefully but you have also jotted down the important points exactly so that is certainly the answer is going to be yes d why because when you talk about arlington where is arlington arlington is in no it is not going to be b it is going to be usa then arc de triumph is in paris liberation is in dhaka and cenotaph is in london right so that is why your answer should be c a d and b right theek hai to isliye is zaruri hai ki aap logon ke paas ye bhi information ho ke across the world which are these memorials which are famous and which are which are the places which host them right chaliye so that brings us to the last question for the day that is which of the following statements is or are correct regarding the kuno palpur wildlife sanctuary first it is the only wildlife sanctuary in the world to host all the four major cat species second in a project funded by the ministry of environment forest and climate change the cheetahs are being brought here from africa third kuna palpur was found to have ample natural habitat for the cheetah in the form of grasslands and savanna yes so what should be the answer here हां जी ओके रोहित सेज सी लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट दी अदर आंसर एज वेल ओके सो वी हैव डी एंड सी एस दंसर्स ठीक है लेट्स स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट देखो ये अभी रिसेंटली न्यूज में था ओके ग्रेट सो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर मार्किंग सी एस दंसर देखो वेन बी टॉक अबाउट द फोर मेजर कैट स्पीशीज सो वॉट आर द फोर मेजर कैट स्पीशीज इट इज द लायन एंड इट इज द लेपर्ड इट इज द चीता एंड इट इज द lion leopard cheetah and what is the fourth major cat han ji fourth major cat kaun si hai jab hum baat kar rahe hain four species ki which are considered as the major cat species you have lion you have cheetah you have exactly exactly certainly you have the tiger as well as the fourth major cat species 
राइट सो वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो वाई वॉज इट इन न्यूज बिकॉज राइट नाउ ड्यू टू कोविड दिस इन री इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द एफ्रिकन स्पीशी इज गेटिंग डिलेड राइट सो हैड दैट हैपन्ड द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट वुड हैव बीन करेक्ट बट please understand that although the kuno palpur wildlife sanctuary is you know it is going to become once we are going to reintroduce this species from africa then it is certainly going to become you know one of or you can you, you can say one of its kind of sanctuary which will be hosting all the big cats right but that has not happened right now theek hai cheeta jo hai namibia se leke aane the africa se but that is still द प्रोसेस हैज नॉट बीन कम्प्लीटेड तो इसलिए पहली स्टेटमेंट जो है दैट इज इनकरेक्ट सेकेंड इज फाइन दैट इट इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एमओ ई एफ सी सी दैट इज फंडिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड द कूनो पालपुर इट वॉज क्यों चूज किया इसको देखो एक तो है कि कहां पर किस चीज को इंट्रोड्यूस किया जा रहा है चीता को अफ्रीका में नामीबिया से लेके आया जा रहा है कूनो पालपुर में दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग द सेकेंड थिंग इज वाई ओनली कूनो वाई नॉट एनी अदर वाई नॉट फॉर दैट मैटर गुजरात द गिर नेशनल पार्क You know, Gujarat has been making hue and cry over it that why were we not chosen? So, उसके लिए जो reason side किया है M O E F ने M O E F double C ने that basically the habitat is most suitable, right? Where there will be there they have maximum chances of survival, where they have maximum chances of being comf comfortable as far as the natural habitat here is concerned, which is in the form of grasslands, which are also present in their habitats in their na in their home from where they are they are being transported, right? In in the in the African continent from where Nigeria से जहां पर इनको लेके आ रहे हैं नामीबिया से वहां पर दे आर हैविंग दिलर काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ हैबिटैट राइट एंड दैट इज वाई दे आर बींग शिफ्टेड टू द कूनो पालपुर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी सो सेकेंड एंड थर्ड आर करेक्ट एंड हेंस योर आंसर विल बी ए राइट ठीक है आई बिलीव दिस इज क्लियर या एग्जैक्टली शुभांकर लायन लेपर्ड चीता एंड टाइगर प्रिसाइसली बट आंसर विल नॉट बी सी सभी स्टेटमेंट सही नहीं है at least until we successfully execute this mission right so let's quickly take a look at some of the facts these are all the big cats and this is the project being funded by the government of india ministry of environment and from namibia and africa you are getting these cheetahs right so apart from that if we take a look at these aspects that why kuno was found more ready than others for the project right gandhi sagar jo hai chitorgar aur भैंसरोगढ़ जो सेंचुरीज हैं इनको बोला गया दैट दे आर द सेकंड मोस्ट सुटेबल एरियाज बट स्टिल दे डू नॉट हैव दोज दोज कंडीशन विच विल बी और विच आर अवेलेबल इन कूनो पालपुर ठीक है एंड दैट इज बाय कूनो पालपुर जो है दैट वाज फाउंड टू बी द फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस राइट दैट इज द एम्पल नेचुरल हैबिटेट फॉर द चीता इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्रास लैंड सवाना ओपन वुड लैंड विद एवरग्रीन रिवर इन रेवाइंस राइट दैट इज जो छोटी छोटी नदियां इसको कह सकते हो राइट right, जो बहती है वहां पे कूनो पालपुर में दे आर गोइंग टू बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल एंड फॉर देयर अक्वेंटेंस विद देयर हैबिटेट इन अफ्रीका राइट दैट इज द सिमिलरिटी व्हिच हैज लेड टू कूनो पालपुर बीइंग द फर्स्ट चॉइस एंड रेस्ट ऑफ दीज बिकमिंग द सेकंड चॉइस राइट चलो सो दिस इज अ पार्क फॉर द न्यू कैट यू कैन टेक अ लुक एट दीस फैक्ट्स लेटर इन द पीडीएफ इटसेल्फ राइट सो विद दैट वी हैव कम टू एन एंड do take a look at those facts right which i have included in that infographic in the pdf aur jo log pehli baar jud rahe hain wo jo hain unke liye i'll just tell ke jo pdf hai wo telegram group mein daily share hoti hai for which the link is in the description box shubhankar the point is first statement isliye galat hui thi ke abhi tak jo hai covid ki wajah se the project has got delayed theek hai still from africa we have not imported the cheetahs abhi tak kuno palpur mein introduce nahi hue hain cheetah that is the fourth fourth species of big cat once it is introduced then it will be the only national park to host all the four big cats right i believe that is clear to you shubhankar right chaliye thank you to you all to you guys as well for being you know so interactive in the session please give me a confirmation shubhankar is that clear before i just conclude the session chaliye great so on that note it's a wrap from my side thank you so much to all of you as well stay safe study well see you tomorrow jai hind